Hi friends, welcome once again. So we are in our number six numbers series of videos. This module is all about numbers. So till now we have already seen four videos being uploaded already. That is first one was all, all about classification types of numbers. Yes. Then converting recurring into fractions, even odd operations. Okay. Second one was all about divisibility factors, multiples. Yeah, divisibility tests, all those things. Then we had seen search and indices, and then one more small video wherein some remaining part was covered. Okay. So in this video, mainly we are going to cover about factors, multiples. First point. Then second is about the units place logic. How to find units place of various big powers. that is going to be interesting and then how to factorize a factorial in that there are some famous questions like number of trailing zeros yes highest power of any particular number in a given factorial all these things yes so without wasting time let's get started so i am very sure that this is the first topic right all about factors and multiples we all are very very comfortable with respect to what is the meaning of a factor what is the meaning of a multiple so when it comes to factor i hope you can visualize the correct set of numbers yes yeah so for example if i take a number 24 a very small example if i tell you list down or write down the factors of 24 so i hope you can write the correct numbers yes 1 and 24 see in one same only i'm creating two factors at a time 2 hai to 12 bhi hai 3 into 8 4 into 6 that's it right so if you count the number of factors why can i count because factors are limited smallest factor is 1 always and the largest factor is the number itself So it starts from one and it ends at the number itself, the factors or the divisors. Okay, friends, countable, limited, and not countable. So if you can count, these are eight factors, isn't it? And if I talk about multiples, so factors are about numbers that can divide a given number. Numbers that can divide a given number, they are the factors. Okay, multiples means easy. वाला word कौन सा है? Yes, tables. The numbers which appear in the table of that given number multiple. Why do we say twenty-four into one, twenty-four, twenty-four into two? We are multiplying by a natural number to that given number, na? And hence generating those numbers. Hence these are called as multiples. Twenty-four into three, simple friends. So twenty-four into four, easy to say, na? Tables and so on. So numbers that can be divided by a given number. Okay, so all these numbers are divisible by the given number, yeah, including twenty-four also. Multiples or tables, okay. And how many multiples are there for twenty-four? Not just ten, ah. Huh? Just because we write tables up to ten, there are infinite multiples. All right, it can go on and on, infinite. Factors are limited, hence countable, but multiples are unlimited. Okay, clear, sorted. And of course, la smallest multiple will be number itself. Largest multiple you can't think of beyond imagination, infinity. So factors will always be less than multiples, or sometimes equal. Equal means that the number itself, because twenty-four itself was the factor of twenty-four, and twenty-four itself is a multiple of twenty-four. वहाँ पे equality है. Otherwise, all the factors you can see are less than the multiples. ठीक है value wise. ठीक है. Sorted till here. I hope you are noting it also, making your notes. Cool. Let's go ahead. now i am interested in knowing how to count number of factors of any number very fast see 24 was a very small number so that is why we could write it manually and we could count it but agar 24 ke badle what if it is there 24000 tab kya karoge yeah so let's see the logic behind it so first thing is we need to factorize factor in such a way that the base is a prime number so this is called as prime factorization so two appeared three times into two three okay so we are learning what calculating the number of factors of any number so i have factorized 24 in such a way that the base is a prime number so this is called as prime factorization okay now see 
for the first time live in front of you how to calculate number of factors when you saw two cube you should think of four possibilities which four possibilities see this 2 to the power 0 then 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 to the power 3 so you can stop up to 3 it's like there are three identical objects in how many ways you can choose the objects so here you have various choices available which various choices you can select nothing that is 2 raised to 0 or you can select any one of them that is 2 raised to 1 or you can select two of them that is 2 raised to 2 for you or you can select all three of them isn't it okay these are the four options available in front of you similarly in case of 3 to the power 1 yes 3 to the power 0 and 3 to the power 1 so these are the two possibilities all right select nothing or select that one thing using these possibilities just focus how am i deriving all those eight factors in front of you check this 2 to the power 0 into 3 to the power 0 that is 1 2 to the power 0 2 nahi hai 1 hai remember this thought we have done this in inserts and indices a to the power 0 is 1 a number getting divided by itself is also written like a to the power 0 all right power 0 means division of the number by itself so ye 1 hai ye bhi 1 hai so first factor we got second 2 to the power 0 into 3 to the power 1 yes awesome so 1 into 3 that is 3 then 2 to the power 1 into 3 to the power 0 dikh raha hai you just need to cover all possibilities of connecting from this to this so 2 into 1 that is 2 2 into 3 correct similarly 4 into 1 4 into 3 8 into 1 8 into 3 so we have covered all possibilities so you can check there are eight possibilities so there are eight factors of 24 isn't it yeah cool so overall we had four choices here two choices here so put together we have 4 into 2 that is 8 this is the smart logic step number 1 prime factorize i am repeating it again add 1 to every power and multiply so 3 plus 1 because there are four possibilities right and then 1 plus 1 so 4 into 2 so there are totally eight factors of 24 and these eight factors naturally we naturally will include 1 and the number itself so these eight factors take care of both these factors as well okay okay so just generalizing is if there is a number which you can prime factorize like this where p1 p2 p3 all these are prime factors okay then the number of factors is given as add 1 to every power and multiply okay understood Sure. All right. Now some more interesting variations. There can be so many variations in this, you know, friends. We will cover all those questions specifically in class. But at least you you should have this much base, this much background before you attend the session. Okay. Now in a perfect square, what do you mean a perfect square? See, square of any natural number is called as a perfect square. Okay. Square of a natural number. So four hundred is a perfect square. 20 का स्क्वायर आफ्टर प्राइम फैक्टराइजिंग इट डिड यू सी वन ऑब्जर्वेशन द पावर विल ऑलवेज बी इवन बिकॉज़ एवरी प्राइम फैक्टर विल बी प्रेजेंट इन पेयर्स बराबर ऑलराइट सो व्हाई इट शुड बी इवन यू नो व्हाई द पावर शुड बी इवन सो दैट यू कैन इजीली स्प्लिट दैट इनटू टू ग्रुप्स सी इजंट इट so two equal groups so power is always even and because of that you can say that number of factors will always be odd so this is structure of a perfect square the power is always even yeah so number of factors how do we count just now we have discussed the shortcut power plus 1 so even plus 1 into even plus 1 into even plus 1 
and even plus one is odd, right? So odd multiplied by odd multiplied by odd and so on. So total number of factors is always odd. So these two simple variations, simple basic thought about perfect square, you should remember. Very logical and very easy. Okay. In a perfect cube, similarly, you'll observe that the power will always be a multiple of three because you should be able to split this into three equal groups. So see, two to the power six, I could split. Five to the power three, I could split. Isn't it? So the power of every perfect cube after prime factorization, you will see that all the prime factors will have the power as a multiple of three. Okay. You got this much? Cool. One more thought friends. In case if we are asked to write a number as a product of co-prime factors, not any factors, co-prime factors. I hope you remember what are co-prime numbers. A pair of numbers which do not share anything except one. And technically also I can define it like this now that the two numbers whose HCF is one, the highest common factor is one, isn't it? Okay. So 24 ko le lete. See 24 you prime factorized like this. Now you want to make two groups such that both the groups should not share anything apart from one. So ek chiz, agar aise aapne split kiya, to hai na? because two will be common between both of them. So it won't be co-prime pairs. So how you should split this way. Ki two cube ko pura ek group mein dal diya aur three ko dusre group mein dal diya. So eight into three. Of course, both these are co-prime numbers, right? They do not share anything. Oh, there is one more way. What? Yes. Sab kuch ek group mein dal do, bacha dusre group mein by default one. So one into 24. Then I don't think here there are any other possibilities. So we have two ways of writing 24 as a product of two co-prime numbers, not any number co-prime numbers. Okay. All right. In general, the shortcut formula for this is two to the power P minus one, where P is number of prime factors present. So in case of 24 friends, if you saw there were two prime factors, isn't it two and three. So two to the power two minus one, because value of P is two, right? It means two to the power one, which is two. So in two ways we can write it. And you know, those two ways here only manually we could see because number was very small. But for bigger numbers, for larger numbers, please remember the shortcut. Okay. All right. Now, there can be many variations, but uh, one more variation I would like to tell you if they happen to ask you some of all the factors, then what should you do? So P1 to the power A means P1 to the power zero, P1 to the power one, P1 to the power two. These are the possibilities which we create. Isn't it friends? Aisa hi tha na? Just humne two cube mein kiya tha, two to the power zero se leke two to the power three tak. Similarly, P2 to the power B means P2 to the power 0, P2 to the power 1, P2 to the power 2 and so on up to P2 to the power B. Yeah, These are A plus 1 terms, these are B plus 1 terms and so on. Agar some of the factors poochega to in sab ka addition karna hoga. I hope you can see these terms are nothing but in geometric progression. Yes. First term A into R into R into R into R. This is what our geometric progression is all about, right friends? If you want to know in detail about this, you can refer to the algebra playlist in that there is, I think video number six progressions or video number nine, whatever it is, just check that playlist. The heading is there progressions. See that video, you will understand everything in detail about GP, geometric progression. So if I add all these terms, the formula is A into R to the power N minus one divided by R minus one. This is sum of all the n terms of a GP. So you can think of this formula to find out the sum of all the factors. So here first term is one. 
common ratio is P1. Here also first term is 1, common ratio is P2. Number of terms is A plus 1, number of terms is B plus 1. And so on. So accordingly, you can fit in this formula and then you can use this logic. There are questions based on this in the sheet. We will discuss that in class. Okay, don't worry. Then, you know, total number of factors for 24, there were eight factors. If somebody asks me in how many ways you can write 24 as a product of two numbers. So you can immediately say there are four ways because there are eight factors and every time I'm using two factors to write that. So in four ways, I can write any number as a product of two factors or product of two numbers. So total number of factors divided by two. That can be the general logic. All right. In case of perfect square, it will be total number of factors plus one divided by two because number of factors of any perfect square is odd number. Na? So odd number plus one karenge even banega divide by two. For example, 36 ko bolega. So one into 36 first way, two into the 18 second way, three into 12 third way, four into nine, and then six into six. While counting, you'll count this is one factor only. Na? So total there are nine factors, but number of ways over five. So nine plus one, 10 divided by two. Okay. I hope you understood these things. All right. Please note it down. Now last digit cyclicity concept of finding units place C. So the number of powers of any digit after which the last digit repeats, this is nothing but the cyclicity concept. For example, let's explore about two. So you'll understand here. So two to the power, we are exploring powers. Huh? We are not exploring the table. We are exploring the power. So two to the power one is two. Two to the power two means two into two. Okay. So two square four into two. Two cube is eight into two. Two to the power four is 16. But we are focusing only on the units place last digit. So 16 ka last digit likha, that is six. Into two karengi the two to the power five, 32. And 32 will end in two. Means units place is two again. Which means what? After that, 2 to the power 6 will again give you units places 4 and so on, friends. 2 to the power 7 will be 8, 2 to the power 8 will be 6, 2 to the power 9 will be 2 and so on. Means what did you observe? These four digits, that is 2, 4, 8, 6, 2, 4, 8, 6. This only will keep repeating, right? Yes. Hence, we can see this pattern of units place repeats after every four powers. Okay. It repeats after every four powers. So the last digit cyclicity of two is four. So let us generalize this. All these were nothing but multiples of four. So you can write it as 4k multiple of four table of four. This is all the numbers when divided by four will give you remainder of one. So four K plus one kind of pattern. This becomes four K plus two. This becomes four K plus three. These are nothing but the remainders obtained after dividing a number by four. Isn't it friends? So remainder could be zero. Remainder could be one. Remainder could be two. Remainder could be three. Yeah. So if they ask for such large powers, what is the last digit of two to the power one, four, seven, nine. So step one. Divide this power by four and four is what the cyclicity of this base base was two. So two ka cycle char power ka hota hai. after four powers, it repeats, right? So one, four, seven, nine could divide by four karnoma because I want to know not two to the power one, four, seven, nine will coincide with which one of them one ways. Keep reading, keep reading till you reach one, four, seven, nine. But we are smart. That is why we are learning maths. So 1479 distribute karna I'll divide 1479 by 4 and check the remainder. We'll get two things, you know, after division, quotient and remainder, but we're not interested in quotient. Quotient will simply tell us how many such cycles are done. But we are interested in remainder, which will exactly tell us, tell us where has it stopped at. And four ka to shortcut be na. No need to divide the entire number. Just divide the number formed by last two digits. So here I will divide 79 by four. So remainder is three. Remainder three means look at this third value in the cycle of two. Means the last digit will be eight. 
okay so 1 2 to the power 1479 will end in 8 so very big number but units place will be 8 and that is what we wanted remainder 2 aata to 4 remainder 1 aata to 2 remainder 0 aata to last value in the cycle matlab cycle khatam ho gaya so it would have been 6 i hope you understood this yeah how to find units place in this case in case of 2 to the power big big power similarly we can explore other digits i am sure you know we have a total of 10 digits out of which four are only like this yes now 2 to the power 2684 chalo one more example divide 84 by 4 why 4 because base mein 2 hai and 2 ka cycle 4 hour ke baad repeat hota hai so 84 divided by 4 remainder is 0 remainder 0 means last value in the cycle that is 6 so power is a multiple of 4 na that is why remainder is 0 so here the answer is 6 okay all right i hope you understood this as well great now in other digits 0 1 5 6 are the easiest ones easiest they have a cycle of 1 because 0 raised to anything end may 0 hi aata hai, right so it repeats after every power so very easy 1 raised to 1 is 1 1 square is 1 1 cube is 1 and so on same with 5 5 raised to 5 is 1 5 raised to 1 is 5 5 raised to 2 is 25 so units plus 5 5 q 125 units plus 5 6 to the power 1 is 6, 6 square 36, so 6, 6 cube, 1216. So every time it is the same 6. So 0, 1, 5, 6, easiest of the lot. Their cycle is 1. Now for 4 and 9, they have a cycle of 2. You can check. 4 to the power 1 is 4 into 4 kia, the 4 square that is 16. So units place is 4, 6. 6 into 4 karoge, first 24 aega, right? So units place is 4. So 4, 6, 4, 6, 4, 6. These two digits only will keep repeating. Yeah, similarly for 9, 9 to the power 1 is 9 into 9 kia, 9 square is 81, units place 1 into 9, so 9 cubes, again 9 again. Na? So here you can generalize like this, 4 raised to odd power will end in 4, 4 raised to even power will end in 6, 9 raised to odd power will end in 9 and 9 raised to even power will end in 1. So for 4 and 9, you can have this shortcut. Yeah, so 4 raised to 1, 7, 9, 8. Even power, chup chali thing 6. 9 raised to 1, 9, 7, 8, 1, 3, 7. 9 raised to odd power. So it will simply end in 9. Theek hai? Got it? 3 more digits are left. So 2, 3, 7, 8 have a cycle of 4. 2 ka to humne dekhi liya. So 3 also you can explore like this. So see, 3, then 9, then 7, then 1, and 3. 3971, 3971 in this order. 7 correct. 79317. Basically, I have four powers explore. 7931, 7931 in this order, not any random order. First four powers. Similarly, for 8, 8, then 64 to 4, aya, 5, 1, 2, ka 2, aya, into 8 to 6, aya. Into it, first eight again. So eight four two six eight four two six. Okay. All right. So zero one five six easiest cycle is one. Four and nine cycle is two. Four is to odd. Four is to even. Nine is to odd. Nine is to even. Go all logic use kar sakte. And for two three seven eight the cycle is after four power. So divide the power by four. Check the remainder and accordingly select the value in that given cycle. Okay. Understood? Okay. Cool. I hope you have noted it properly and you have got this. Great. Now the last concept of this video. Concept of trailing zeros and highest power. How many zeros are there at the end of 10 factorial? I hope you know what is the meaning of 10 factorial. There is one more way of writing 10 factorial like this. out of syllabus. It is 10 factorial only. Okay. Great. So, product of first 10 natural numbers. Yeah. Now, zeros to dikhara hai, 10 se 0 milega. 
कैन यू सी वन मोर जीरो ओवर हियर और कोई जीरो दिख रहा है दिख रहा है दिस इज दैट हिडन जीरो जीरो किससे बनता है टेन से और टेन खुद किससे बनता है फाइव एंड टू से इज एंट इड सो टू गेट अ जीरो यूनिट टू हैव अ टेन एंड टू गेट अ टेन यूनिट टू हैव अ फाइव एंड टू दिस इज द कनेक्शन सो एवरी टाइम अ टू एंड अ फाइव गेट मल्टीप्लाइड वी गेट अ जीरो ठीक है तो टू इंटू फाइव देख रहे हो टेन हो गया सो देर आर टू जीरो All right. Now, so how do we get trailing zeros based on number of tens, which means based on number of twos and fives? So in any factorial, you can see that there are many many twos, but fives are limited. So our main focus should be hence to count number of fives. So number of zeros will depend upon number of tens, and number of tens will depend upon number of fives. because twos are in abundance every second number will give me a two but every fifth number will give me a five so entire focus should be on counting number of fives for example apne paas agar 10 vada hai aur 20 pav hai to vada pav kitna banega 10 hi banega na ye to aaram se aaya samajh gaya wahi logic hai jo kam hota hai wahi decide karega na kitna pair banega common sense theek hai yaad rahega na vada pav Okay, so let's count number of fives. So if this is fifteen factorial, your focus should be only counting number of fives. Kaha milega fives in the table of five? That is five, ten, fifteen. So there are three fives. Naturally, there are three zeros. Usse zada hi twos. So naturally, there are three twos. Usse zada hi twos honge. So those twos will mix with these fives and will get us will give me three tens. So three zeros. Okay, twenty factorial. as you can see there are four right so four fives so four tens so four zeros 25 factorial kya bolte ho five i think fata fata mein wahi click hua hoga five but 25 has two fives be careful dekha ek extra five aaya because 25 is five square It's the first number which contains two fives. Contains two fives means five as a factor, huh? Five into five, not digit five. Hello, digit five की बात नहीं चल रही. Emotional मत होना. ठीक है? So six fives are there. So six zeros. So to sum up, for every multiple of five, account for one five. For every multiple of twenty five, account for an additional five, and so on. So for every multiple of twenty five, we'll have to account for two additional fives. एंड सो ऑन इसी को थोड़ा शॉर्टकट बना देते हैं हम हंड्रेड फैक्टोरियल ओके सो मल्टीपल्स ऑफ फाइव तो ट्वेंटी है हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाई फाइव किया तो ट्वेंटी आया मल्टीपल्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव चार है बराबर ट्वेंटी फाइव फिफ्टी सेवेंटी फाइव एंड हंड्रेड और वन ट्वेंटी फाइव कोई मल्टीपल है नहीं बिकॉज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव का तो हंड्रेड के आगे शुरू होगा ना सो देर आर टोटल ट्वेंटी फोर फाइव सो ट्वेंटी फोर टेन्स सो ट्वेंटी फोर जीरो राइट Cool. Now this is better. Hundred divided by five twenty, and the, this is called as quotient, right? Previous quotient becomes a new dividend. Usi ko divided by five kia, so I got four. So twenty plus four, twenty four, and this method is called as successive division. So to count any prime factor, ki kitni baar hai wo andar kisi factorial mein. You should use the method of successive division. Very nice shortcut. Yeah, he had the previous quotient becomes a new dividend and keep doing like that. We stop here because four. Abhi five se chota ho gaya na. So divide nahi hoga. So stop. Means there is no number that which which contains three fives in hundred factorial. Because pehla number to one twenty five hai na. There were four numbers which contain two fives. Yeah, like that. So how many zeros are there at the end of five hundred factorial? Divide by five kia hundred. Divide by five kia twenty. Divide by five kia four. Now it won't be divisible na. So stop. Add all these. So one twenty four fives are there. So one twenty four zeros are there. You समझ रहे हो क्या आप इसको? Means when you fa prime factorize this, so we are going to get five to the power one twenty four. Twos तो उससे ज़्यादा ही होंगे. 
पर मैं खाली वन ट्वेंटी फोर टू ही चूज कर रहा हूं एंड देन वी कैन क्लब देम फाइव इंटू टू टू द पावर वन ट्वेंटी फोर राइट सो टेन टू द पावर वन ट्वेंटी फोर सो वन ट्वेंटी फोर जीरो ठीक है Now, what is the highest power of five that can divide five hundred factorial? इस तरह से भी पूछ सकते हैं same thought. One more way to look at it. क्या बोलते हैं? Means five hundred factorial को मैं five raised to highest किस नंबर से divide करूँ कि पूरा divisible हो जाए? Divisible हो जाए means all these fives should be able to get cancelled from the numerator. In short. इट इज एज गुड एज फाइव हंड्रेड फैक्टोरियल में कितने फाइव है बराबर ना उतने ही फाइव से डिवाइड करूंगा तो सारे फाइव कैंसिल हो जाएंगे देखो सब कैंसिल हो रहे हैं सब कैंसिल होना चाहिए तो जितने फाइव ऊपर है उतने ही फाइव नीचे भी होने चाहिए इन द रिनोमिनेटर हाउ मेनी फाइव आर देर इन फाइव हंड्रेड फैक्टोरियल जस्ट नॉ वी सो So keep as many fives in the denominator as the number of fives in the five hundred factorial. Just now we saw there are one twenty four fives. Yeah, the five hundred divided by five hundred hundred divided by five twenty twenty divided by five four. So there are one twenty four fives, isn't it? So one twenty four zeros होंगे. वो तो वो question था. And here. 500 factorial when it is divided by 5 to the power 124 it will be completely divisible it means result will be an integer no decimal sare fives cancel out ho jayenge so maximum power is 124 theek okay? hai samajh gaya nahi all right just one last thing i want to just Sum it up more. Suppose if I take a number one fifty factorial and I want to prime factorize it. Prime factorize means two ka highest power kitna hai, three ka highest power kitna hai, five ka highest power kitna hai, and so on. So let's do that exercise once again. Successive division seventy five divided by two. Focus only on the quotient. Forget the decimal. Of course, right. डिवाइड बाय टू वन अब नहीं होगा ना बराबर है क्या वन फोर्टी टू ओ सॉरी एक स्टंट मार दिया मैंने क्या नाइन डिवाइड बाय फोर क्यों किया नाइन डिवाइड बाय टू होगा ना ठीक है टू फोर हजार देन फोर डिवाइड बाय टू 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 हजार एंड टू डिवाइड बाय टू वन हजार सो वन फोर्टी सिक्स टू हजार देर वे थ्रीज कितने हैं देखते हैं फिफ्टी आया डिवाइड बाय थ्री सिक्सटीन डिवाइड बाय थ्री डिवाइड बाय थ्री अब नहीं होगा राइट सेवेंटी टू सेवेंटी टू थ्री आर देर बराबर फाइव कितने हैं थर्टी सेवन एंड सो ऑन वैसे आप नंबर ऑफ सेवन इलेवन थर्टीन निकाल सकते हो राइट फ्रेंड्स या इट मीन्स वन फिफ्टी फैक्टोरियल को फैक्टराइज करना है सो टू टू द पावर वन फोर्टी सिक्स प्राइम फैक्टराइज इंटू थ्री टू द पावर सेवेंटी टू इंटू फाइव टू द पावर थर्टी सेवन आई होप ये दिख रहा है मैं क्या लिख रहा हूँ स्क्रीन तो बीच में नहीं आ रहा है मेरा फोटो बीच में नहीं आ रहा है ना सो टू टू द पावर वन फोर्टी सिक्स थ्री टू द पावर वन थर्टी सेवन सॉरी थ्री टू द पावर सेवेंटी टू एंड फाइव टू द पावर थर्टी सेवन एंड सो ऑन ये बोलेगा उसमें नंबर ऑफ जीरो कितने हैं So, 146 में से मैं खाली 37 लूंगा और 37 हैं इसीलिए बाकी के सब वेस्ट बराबर सो टू इंटू फाइव टू द पावर 37 होगा इट मीन्स 10 टू द पावर 37 होगा इट मीन देर बी 37 ट्रेलिंग जीरोस ट्रेलिंग जीरोस मींस कंजिक्यूटिव जीरोस एट द एंड 
ऐसे करना होगा एक बार प्राइम फैक्ट्राइजेशन पता चल गया देन दे कैन आस्क एनीथिंग वी कैन आंसर एनीथिंग इजीली ऑल राइट फ्रेंड्स समझा क्या डिड यू अंडरस्टैंड ग्रेट आई होप यू हैव नोटेड एवरीथिंग डाउन एवरीथिंग प्रॉपर्ली सो थ्री थिंग्स वी स्टडीड राइट सबसे पहला था हाउ टू कैलकुलेट नंबर ऑफ फैक्टर्स सम ऑफ फैक्टर्स ऑल दो थिंग्स इवन फैक्टर्स ऑड फैक्टर्स परफेक्ट स्क्वायर फैक्टर्स परफेक्ट क्यू फैक्टर्स देन सेकंड पॉइंट वाज यूनिट्स प्लेस का लॉजिक साइक्लिसिटी कांसेप्ट ऑफ यूनिट्स प्लेस एंड दिस थर्ड कांसेप्ट वाज अबाउट ट्रिलिंग जीरोस और प्राइम फैक्टराइजिंग अ फैक्टोरियल नंबर ठीक है ऑलराइट so thank you so much for listening to me thank you so much for noting it down i am sure you gained some knowledge it benefited you so just revise this again and again till the time you feel confident char panch bar video dekho alag alag speed ke theek hai so we'll solve more sums based on this thanks for your cooperation see you in class take care stay safe stay focused bye bye